Welcome to Speak About Digital. I'm really excited that you're here with me today. In this video, I'm going to guide you through something super useful, how to easily get started on Substack. Now I know some of you might be totally new to this platform, or maybe you've heard of it but don't quite know where to begin. Don't worry, this video is perfect for beginners and I'll make sure we cover everything you need to know to get up and running in no time. Whether you're a writer, a blogger, or just someone who wants to share their thoughts online, Substack is an amazing platform to create and publish content. It's easy to use and it's free to start, which makes it a fantastic choice for anyone who's serious about building an audience. So let's start with the basics. What is Substack exactly? Well, if you've never used it before, think of Substack as a platform that's specifically built for writers, bloggers, and anyone who has something they want to say. It lets you create newsletters, send them out to your audience, and even make money from paid subscriptions. It's basically a place where you can build a direct connection with your readers without needing a middleman. The beauty of Substack is that it's incredibly easy to use. You don't need to be a tech genius to figure it out. Whether you're just starting to build your online presence, or you're a seasoned writer looking for a better way to connect with your readers, Substack offers a simple, no-nonsense approach to publishing. Plus, unlike a lot of other platforms, Substack gives you full control over your content. You're not relying on algorithms or advertisers. You're just connecting directly with your readers through email. And that's huge if you want to build a loyal audience that's actually invested in what you're saying. All right, enough talking about why Substack is awesome. Let's get into the step-by-step -step tutorial so you can start using it today. The very first thing you need to do, of course, is create a Substack account. Now, this part is really simple, and it's just like signing up for any other platform. If you don't already have an account, I've got a link down below in the description for you. Go ahead and click that, and it'll take you right to the sign up page. But if you've already created your account, you can skip ahead a little bit. Once you click the link, you'll be greeted with the classic get started button. Go ahead and click that. You'll be prompted to enter your email, set a password, and follow a few simple steps to personalize your account. It's quick and easy, takes like two minutes tops. Now, once you're all signed up and ready to go, Substack will take you straight to your dashboard. This dashboard is the heart of your Substack experience. It's where you'll do all the work, from writing and publishing to managing your subscribers and exploring new content. The first thing you'll notice is how clean and simple it is. It's not overwhelming or cluttered, and if you've ever used platforms like Twitter, it might even feel a bit familiar. On the left-hand side, you'll see a navigation panel with all your main options, inbox, notes, chats, explore, and more. Let me quickly walk you through what each section does so you'll know your way around. This is where you'll find all the new readings and content based on your interests. It's kind of like your personal reading hub. The All section includes suggested readings that Substack thinks you'll like, and the Saved section is for all the content you've bookmarked to come back to later. This is super useful if you don't have time to read something right away. Now, Notes is one of the cooler features on Substack. It lets you post short-form content, kind of like microblogging. If you're familiar with Twitter, you'll feel right at home here. You can post quick updates, ideas, or engage with other writers and readers by liking, replying, or even retweeting their posts. Well, it's called reposting here. So, think of it like a mini social network within Substack. The chat section is where the real conversations happen. Writers can start chat threads, and readers like you can jump in and join the discussion. It's a great way to build community around your writing. 
Imagine you've just read an amazing post from one of your favorite writers, and you have thoughts or questions, just hop into their chat thread and engage directly. It's a really cool feature to keep conversations going beyond just the comments section. Moving on, the Explore panel is pretty self-explanatory. This is where you can browse through different posts, writers, and recommendations based on your interests. You'll find all kinds of categories here, from tech to politics to culture. You might even stumble upon some new writers you love. Just like on social media platforms, the notifications panel is where you'll see all your updates. Whenever there's new content from someone you subscribe to, or if a writer you follow starts a new chat, you'll get a notification here. It's your way of staying in the loop. The profile panel is where you can manage your own profile settings. You can add a bio, upload a profile picture, link your social media accounts, like Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, and tweak your subscription settings. This is where you show off a bit of your personality, so don't skip it. Make sure to update your profile with something that represents you and what you're all about. Okay, move on to actually setting up your Substack page. This is where the magic happens because this is your space on the internet to share your thoughts, your writing, and your voice with the world. To get started, head to the profile section at the top right corner of your dashboard and click Start Writing. Substack will prompt you to set up your publication. This means you'll need to give it a name, choose a URL, and set up the basics. Your URL is super important. Make sure it's something simple, memorable, and reflects the content you'll be posting. Substack automatically gives you a domain.substack.com URL, but if you want to get fancy, you can also use your own custom domain. Once you've sorted that out, Substack will ask if you want to upload an email list and discover other writers. You can skip these for now if you're just getting the basic setup. We'll come back to these features later. Alright, here's the fun part. Publishing your first post. Writing on Substack is super straightforward, and you've got a few options when it comes to the type of content you want to post. Let me break it down for you. This is the bread and butter of Substack. Whether you're writing an article, an essay, or just sharing some thoughts, the new post option is where you'll go. To get started, click the new post button, and you'll be taken to the editor. Here, you can add a title and subtitle for your post, and then start typing away. The editor itself is clean and simple, but don't let that fool you. It's packed with features. You can easily format your text, insert links, images, and even add audio clips or quotes to spice up your content. Once you've finished writing, make sure to preview your posts before publishing by hitting the preview button in the top right corner. If everything looks good, you can move on to the final step, publishing. Before you hit publish, Substack will ask you a few things. Do you want to make this post available to everyone, or only to paid subscribers? You can also toggle comments on or off, and set other preferences like whether you want the post to go out immediately or be scheduled for later. Once you've made your selections, hit send to everyone, and boom, your first post is live. Now, Substack is more than just writing posts. There are a few other content types you can explore, so let's take a quick look. Got a podcast or want to start one? Substack has you covered. The new episode option lets you upload audio or record directly on the platform. You can even import an existing podcast if you already have one. It's super easy to manage your podcast alongside your writing, all from one place. If you're more into video content, Substack lets you upload or record new video posts too. It's a great way to engage with your audience, especially if you're comfortable on camera. You can title your video, add a description, 
and share it just like you would with any other post. Once you've started publishing, you'll want to keep an eye on your stats and how your content is performing. Substack gives you detailed analytics to track how many people are reading your posts, how many new subscribers you're getting, and more. This is key to understanding what's working and what isn't, so make sure to check in on your stats regularly. You're officially ready to start using Substack. Whether you're writing essays, launching a podcast, or sharing videos, Substack has all the tools you need to build and grow your audience. It's simple, it's effective, and best of all, it's completely free to get started.